it's Friday. Normally this would be the day that you've headed home from work and you're so looking forward to maybe a quiet night or maybe getting together with friends or having just a fun dinner with the family. But this week's been different because maybe you've been home all week with your family already trying to juggle work and school and all those crazy things happening under one roof. Or maybe you've been trying to just maintain some semblance of a schedule when you don't have to go anywhere, can't really go anywhere, and you could stay in your pajamas all day if you wanted to. Or maybe you're just realizing that this curfew is going to last a while and it's just starting to hit you that Friday night is not the same as Friday night might usually be. Well, here we are <laughs> in, in this unusual season and we can cry out to God. We can cry out to God and tell God that this feels like chaos, that not having a schedule feels like chaos, that trying to put too many schedules under one roof feels like chaos. We can cry out to God and ask for God's help. Here is a, the words of the psalmist from Psalm 130. I cry out to you from the depths, Lord. My Lord, listen to my voice. Let your ears pay close attention to my request for mercy. If you kept track of sins, Lord, my Lord, who would stand a chance? But forgiveness is with you. That's why you are honored. I hope, Lord. My whole being hopes, and I wait for God's promise. My whole being waits for the Lord more than the night watch waits for the morning. More than the night watch waits for the morning. Israel, wait for the Lord because faithful love is with the Lord because great redemption is with our God. God is the one who will redeem Israel from all its sin. Thanks be to God. And here's a poem from Jan Richardson. It is called Blessing When the World is Ending. And that may be how we feel right now, that the world as we know it is ending. Blessing when the world is ending. Look, the world is always ending somewhere. Somewhere the sun has come crashing down. Somewhere it has gone completely dark. Somewhere it has ended with the gun, the knife, the fist. Somewhere it has ended with the slammed door, the shattered hope. Somewhere it has ended with the utter quiet that follows the news from the phone, the television, the hospital room. Somewhere it has ended with a tenderness that will break your heart. But listen, this blessing means to be anything but morose. It has not come to cause despair. It is simply here because there is nothing a blessing is better suited for than an ending. Nothing that cries out more for a blessing than when a world is falling apart. This blessing will not fix you, will not mend you, will not give you false comfort. It will not talk to you about one door opening when another one closes. It will simply sit itself beside you among the shards and gently turn your face toward the direction from which the light will come, gathering itself about you as the world begins again. And so on this night, may you find peace in the midst of chaos. May you find light in the midst of darkness. And may you know that the light will come. May God bless you and keep you until the morning light. Amen.